When May in Space got started, we had this big vision that human beings should live in space and that we need to build this multi-planetary species and that through manufacturing we can make that happen. And it was obvious to us that there already is a place that human beings live off planet Earth. It's the space station. The first mission of this three-dimensional printer that's going up on SpaceX 4 flight vehicle will demonstrate the ability for three-dimensional printing to take place in microgravity. Once that demonstration is complete, then it will actually show that parts and spares and even tools can then be made. We're putting a 3D printer on the station uh, to address some of the biggest problems we've had with spaceflight since the inception of the human spaceflight program. The concept of being able to email your hardware to space rather than having to launch it is a real game changer. We're working with NASA to figure out what happens when you 3D print in the extended microgravity environment. After that, we're going to be setting up our second printer. And the, thing that, the reason that's exciting is because it's really an open platform. So entrepreneurs, governments, Anybody who wants to build in space to get their hardware in space is going to be able to use our hardware to build it there. The printer for that will actually be more sophisticated. It'll be capable of printing higher temperature, stronger plastics. When you design in space, you can design completely differently than you design on the ground. Most science requires a repeatable process. It takes several iterations to be able to understand the observations that you're seeing and the data that's produced and, and how that translates into the knowledge that you're seeking. In space, it's hard to iterate. It's hard for the researcher because every time something doesn't go well, we have to launch a new iteration of the experiment. So what we want to do with the 3D printer is help the national lab iterate quicker, help science uh, objectives be reached faster. They could build their experiments in a way where they, they do an experiment, then one week later they iterate it, and another week later they iterate it, and another week later they iterate it. Whether it be a sample container, or a petri dish, um, or a, a part of a scientific experiment itself, it actually enables the space station to be a true functioning laboratory. The ISS doesn't just represent an opportunity to conduct science. You have a startup company with an innovative design, you have an agency that has the opportunity to make technology happen. CASIS and NASA are facilitators that allow those types of ideas to be developed and executed on the ISS.